All right, so this is my test PC. Well, this is my, actually, not the test PC. This is my old PC that I just upgraded. Uh, well, I decommissioned this one, basically. It still works perfectly. And I just bought myself this. It's sitting in the room. Um, it's a hard drive duplicator slash USB 3.1 10 gigabit per second uh, hard drive dock. You could stick in two hard drives in there. You could push the button and it copies the hard drives, um, SATA drives. And there's they sell adapters. You could use it for IDE drives too, but you need to have an adapter. So anyway. This is my uh, SATA drive. Uh, here's if you hear noise, the guys out there are working on the siding. Sorry about that. So what I did was I uh, I copied this Intel SSD, 240 gigs, onto. Um, Western Digital Blue 250 gigs. So basically, uh, with that, with this uh, drive duplicator, uh, I've been reading the comments on Amazon. People are saying that uh, uh, you sh you can't copy from a bigger to a smaller, but you could copy from a smaller to a bigger or smaller or or uh, or the same size drives. So anyway. <coughs> I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to plug the new hard drive in. And what, I, what this video is about, basically about uh, me resizing this drive to 250 gigs. Because um, the duplicator copies them exactly. So give me one second. I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to plug the, the copy drive in there. And then I'll continue. Okay, so the hard drive is copied, I mean, uh, it's, it's connected, and I'll just start the computer. I'm using my test monitor here. People uh, were asking me quest stupid questions like, why am I using a CRT monitor? Oh, you know, it's 2016. Well, this is my test monitor that I had for a while. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't need a full HD screen for uh, testing stuff. Anyway, so it's booting up. It should go right in there, and it's probably going to it's probably going to go and detect the drive when you uh, when you install it after it boots into Windows. This is my test video card. Also, um, as lately I've been using this computer for testing. Anyone wondering, this is a Asus P5QEM motherboard. I I strongly believe this is the best micro ATX motherboard for a 775 socket. Um, it has onboard video if you don't have a uh, video card. It has um, four DDR2 slots. Right now I have um, eight gigs in there. I think I have a video on my channel about this computer somewhere. And this is a Zalman. I don't remember what's the model number of this uh, cooler. It works great. Well, I modify it a little bit. I put a styrofoam cup bottom in here, so the air that the fan pulls in gets pulled in only through the fins, not through this hole. So I don't know. It's mentally it makes <laughs> sense to me. I don't know if it's actually going to make uh, any difference in real life. And the case is um, Amtec P180 Mini. It's huge for. A micro, micro ATX case, but it's very nice. Air, two air intakes right here. 
it's hard to see. Um, five and a quarter slot open uh, for um, CRAM here. And two more down here. I have a USB 3 card reader. I think I have a video of this uh, on my um, on my channel of this computer too. So, so I'm waiting for this slow boot to happen. Oh, I'm gonna pause this. I, I, I don't want to make you guys wait for this. I'm gonna pause it when it's all into Windows. All right, Windows is up. Uh, still loading a little bit. I'm not gonna wait for that forever. And the screen is flashing because of the refresh rate of the monitor and the phone. I could fix that, but you know what? That's okay. You guys can deal with that. Ah man, it's still taking too long. What a difference between SSD and uh, regular hard drive. It's I almost forgot how how much slower it is. <clears throat> the Windows logo is not lined up because I had a different resolution when I booted up the computer before with this uh, SSD drive. What a big difference. Alright, I'm going to pause this again. This is taking too long. Okay, so since I'm showing stuff on here, I changed the refresh rate to 60 frames per second and um, resolution a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Anyway, so my Dropbox, uh, restart later. Alright, manage. Uh, what is the. I gotta click here. The icons can't fit now, so I gotta go manage right here. The refresh rate is 60 frames per second now on the monitor, and the video is recorded the same, so it's. It's gonna look like crap. I ever see it. Did I click it or what? Yeah, it's probably two of them will pop up now. Come on. Oh man. If you guys are using hard drives, <laughs> stick with SSDs. I'm only doing this for uh, informational purpose. So you right click on my, on computer or my computer, and you uh, then you click manage, and you have here is my um, 250 gig hard drive, which formatted is. Uh, 232,000 bytes. So here is the unallocated, unallocated space. So what I, from what I saw was, you got right, right click here, extend volume, next, and uh, you basically extend the volume. Let me see. Uh, select it. Wait a second. Did I do the right thing? Hold on. Uh, so this one, I gotta extend the volume. Next, disk zero. Why is it showing up as ten gigs? I don't get it. You can only extend the volume of the, to the available space shown below because your disk cannot be converted to dynamic, or the volume being extended is a boot or system available. So let me see, is this going up? I don't get it, I don't know. It's going down, the shit. That sucks. It's 
So I can't extend this shit because the boot volume. Oh man, that sucks. So you apparently you cannot extend the boot volume. Uh, let me see, do I have any other utilities here that uh, do hard drive repartition? I know I had it before. Um, that sucks. So it doesn't let you extend boot volumes. That's that's really useless then let me see you have anything here uh, I don't know I can't see I don't have any so apparently it's not as easy as they make it seem because it's a boot volume So it will not let me do it this way. Extend volume. Next. Available. I don't know, Mitch. I can't go. I can't go up. But I can go down. Let's see what this is going to do. Alright, one meg. I can make it one meg. Huh. I don't get it. This is stupid. Wait a second, uh, maybe I gotta make it a new simple volume, let's see, let's do that, that won't hurt anything, so maybe now, maybe now I could extend it, see now it does, it's not available, so that sucks too. I'll delete the volume again and I will not it will not let me extend this All right, so it looks like you can't do it in Windows and I wasted this whole time trying to do it. well this is this is the first video I, I do my videos on the fly I don't edit so Looks like I gotta download the uh, mini tool partition wizard that that utility helped me out before. So um, even on boot volumes, I believe. All right, I'll pause the video. I'll install that that uh, program and come back. Okay, so my mini tool partition wizard um, downloaded. I'm going to install now. All right, start. Not good. Oh, I don't have to minimize that's going to come up again. Okay, launch application. This is like one of the best ones I've seen. 
All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to extend this volume. I don't know, this is the advertising stuff here. Let's not show again. So right here, extend. Yes, let's... New size. Okay, so it was... So the original size was two, 223 gigabytes. That's the SSD size with the 100 meg partition. So I'm gonna make that 250 now, close to 250. It's still gonna be 100 meg for the boot. New size will be, what? Alright, so that's good. Alright, apply. Alright, and it's doing it. Windows can do it in, in, um, while it's booted up, and this can. I don't know how that works, but maybe they. Maybe they did it on purpose so people go buy other partitioning softwares. I don't know. All right, all changes applied successfully. Now let's test it out with with um, with the way I was doing before. See now, let's refresh. I think it's refreshed already anyway. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, let's close this shit. Let's try this again. Computer manage. Disk management. And there it is. So you saw guys what I did, install mini tool partition wizard, right now is November 2nd, this is the latest version 9.1 I believe, November 2nd 2016, you right click here, extend, and then just is going to ask you, do you want to use the unallocated space, so that's it. That's all. That's easy. That's as easy as how easy it is. I did all this live without prior trial, so the video is longer. But that's it. So, um, so it's possible to use this to copy. But then you gotta use um, another utility. External utility from um, not not Microsoft one to make the hard drive bigger. Any questions? Let me know.